All right, y'all, dinner's out of the oven. Uh, got some roasted kale on top of some chicken thighs. You can't really see the chicken thighs, but they're in there. And they're full of garlic and oregano and uh, some salt and pepper. And now we're moving over here into my dining room, which is not a dining room. It's actually just a place where I can stack puzzles and games and then get back to teaching you. So when we left off, we were talking about how the uterine lining gets built by these hormones. The first hormone that does that is estrogen. Estrogen is made by the follicle, which is in the ovary, and the corpus luteum, which is produced as the leftover cells after ovulation. See my last lectures on YouTube for more clarity on that. You got to watch them in sequence, y'all. All right, so the uterine lining, otherwise known as the endometrium, gets built up by estrogen and progesterone. However, progesterone is not produced until after ovulation. And while both of these things maintain the uterine lining that I misspelled the first time, um, sometimes, actually most of the time, that uterine lining's got to go because most of the time a female's egg does not get fertilized. So the onset of a female's period begins with the corpus luteum dying. That's review from last time. You notice I didn't fill in these other columns, but I think they're obvious, right? So if gonadotropin-releasing hormone is producing the hypothalamus, targets the anterior pituitary, what's it going to do? Tell them to make FSH and LH. Duh, you guys get this. You're almost doctors. All right, and then if follicle-stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary acts on the follicles, what's it gonna do? Oh, stimulate the follicle to mature. Follicle maturation, y'all. All right, and then the last one is luteinizing hormone. This is a plus, not an X, by the way, because these two are both gonadotropins. Reason why they're gonadotropins is because they act on the gonad, the gonad in the female's the ovary, and they trope it. What that means by tropy, uh, not tropy. What that means by tropin is they make the ovary make its own hormones, which it does because the ovarian hormones are estrogen, progesterone. So let's just say right here, made in ovary. And in the ovary, they're either made by the follicle, which is the encasement of the egg, or the corpus luteum, which is what's left over after the egg hatches, right? Ovulation, corpus luteum, leftover cells. So this is going to be corpus luteum as well. All right, so I'm going out of order, but I hope you're uh, semi-entertained, and I just got to finish this little bit off. FSH, made by anterior pituitary, Targets the follicle in the ovary, which is maturing. Luteinizing hormone. This is the big guns right here. This targets the follicle. Made by the anterior pituitary. Targets the follicle. But this one does the LH surge. And like I said the other day, LH surge is the number one event for ovulation. Hard to spell when I'm doing this all on camera, but I hope you guys learned something and you can leave a, uh, a note uh, if you need to ask questions. I miss you so much and I hope this was semi-educational. All right, peace out, y'all. Talk to you tomorrow.